Hey, so today I'm here to film a get ready with me on this look. And I was using my baby, which really isn't my baby, okay? This is my friend's palette, but she's letting me use it because I've wanted this forever. Jeffree Star Androgyny palette, oh my god, it's so beautiful. Like, I wanted to use it and just figure out, like, is it that great and do I need to buy my own? And I think I do because I love it how it looks and it, it just it was really nice it was beautiful so yeah i think that's all i have to say if you want to see how i got this look and just like you're ready with me then just keep watching okay so i've primed and set my eyelids did my eyebrows i've got a pimple right here that was bleeding just moments ago so and now i get to play with this baby and i literally have no idea what i want to do i love like every color in here so i don't know uh by the way whenever i swatch poison and swallow is, is that what it is? They literally look the same on my hand. Mm, I mean, that's like a little bit more blue, but they look so similar that I'm kind of like, why did he put both of those in there? I don't know, it's kind of weird, but it's fine. It's fine. Maybe they look really different on my eyes. I don't know. I'm going to start by taking Safe Word and putting that in the crease. And can I just say, I didn't expect these uh, eyeshadows to be as dry feeling as they are. But, I mean, that doesn't mean anything. I'm just saying, like, I really thought they'd be, like, super creamy or something, and they're not. They do have a lot of, like, powder kick up. I have no idea. I'm going to take Charm, which is, like, mustard, and just add that into the crease. <sighs> I just want to use every color. Somehow. Okay, now I'm going to take this L'Oreal Infallible Paint eyeshadow in the shade Jess at Blonde and use this yellow side. Ugh. And, um... Put this at the front half of my eye, I guess. And then I'm gonna pack the charm shade on top of that. Oh, that's like way more orangey <laughs> than expected. This literally looks like um, Kraft Mac and Cheese, which I don't have a problem with. I'm gonna put frosting in the inner corner because I want to. Now I'm gonna take military, put this on the outer half. I'm gonna add that up into the crease a little. Okay, now I'm gonna take poison, put this on the outer, outer little part right here. I feel like I lost the green a little, so that's all of that. Okay, I've been blending for like fucking ever. Um, trying to make these blend together. It's not the easiest thing in the world. Not that the shadows aren't blendable, it's just when you use deeper colors like this, it kind of takes a minute. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of Swallow. Just add that right in here. See if it makes any difference because I can barely see a difference. I'm gonna use two more colors on the bottom that I'm not using right now. So I'm gonna do something with my eyes. Should I put on wings? Mm, I feel like I should. I'll probably just do that off camera and put on my Kiss Number 11 lashes and then I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I got my eyes done. It took four fucking ever, but oh my god, they look so pretty. I love these colors together. Oh, the combination. And it is just like, mm, I love all matte colors, so this is like my fucking jam right now. I mean, excluding the giant gold inner corner. So I'm going to do my face and I'm going to use my Ulta Fabulous Face Foundation Primer because it's laying right here. And then I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and I've got two different shades, Porcelain and Golden Beige and I'm like way closer to Porcelain but uh, it's too light though so I'm going to try to mix some on my hand I guess. When I mix it on my face it always comes out too dark so I'm going to use my hand. Okay that doesn't look horrible. Face is like maybe a little too light but um. I'm gonna add a darker colored powder. Why is this always such like a hard thing for me to fucking match? Uh, I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder in the shade Warm Light. See if this helps fix the color. Oh, doesn't look like it at all. <laughs> I'll just add like extra bronzer or something. So um, how my friend got this palette, I love all these tracks. It sounds fucking great, like why? Anyway, uh. There's this girl at her work that just, she buys a bunch of makeup apparently, I don't know, I've never met her, and then decides like, oh, I don't like these colors, or uh, I don't like this palette, or, or like, literally she doesn't even use a palette, so I don't really know how that makes any sense, but 
she does that and then um when she doesn't want them she apparently is selling them to my friend uh at like half price like twenty dollars a palette so yesterday she came over with this palette the androgyny palette and then um which one was it the naked basics palette and the fucking modern renaissance palette literally none of them even look like they had ever been touched before i don't even know like what i'm um i don't think they're like fake or anything because <laughs> I feel like I'd be able to tell if they were. This Jeffree Star palette blended out too good to be fake. <laughs> I don't know. It's just like, who would seriously buy all this shit and then just, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't ever use it. So do you want to buy it for me, from me for half off? Like the, all these palettes are like popular palettes. You know what I'm saying? They're not even like shitty palettes. Uh, I don't know. It's really weird. <laughs> I'm really jealous. Okay. I guess I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me loose finishing powder in the shade 05. Hey, that is actually lighter than the shade 110, which I don't really know. I mean, they're both the lightest shade, I think, but I really, I really thought these were like the same, just one was pressed. You know what? I think that one is lighter, which I don't want to be angle with so we're going to use a pressed version in the shade 110. Maybe I'll take like a little bit of my L'Oreal Infallible powder, the shade Nude Beige, which is dark, and just put that down here. <laughs> I seriously like, ew, why is everything all wet? For one. For two. I'm not yellow enough. <sighs> Struggles real. I'm gonna take Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Light Bronzer or something like that. Start contouring. I'm thinking about um, vlogging this weekend, but I have a feeling this video would go up after that, so. Maybe I will have, maybe I won't have. I want to, just like, really don't do anything. <laughs> what I normally do is go out to eat and um, come home and sit in bed. <laughs> Except I do it with Bridget and Isaiah, and that's my life. What is in my hair? I'm gonna deepen that up with a Benefit Hula. Um, okay, now I need the banana powder. I'm gonna try to fix my face, but I don't see that happening. <laughs> For blush, I have got to go nude. <laughs> That's all I ever do. Nude, nude, nude. I just feel like if I didn't, I would look like too much. My eyes are dramatic as fuck right now. So we're gonna use Tarte um, Blush and Sensual. <laughs> look at how much paint I put on that. Hmm. I really want that other one. What is it? Risqué, I think. It's like the peachier one. Mm, I really need that one. Uh, whenever they were having the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale thing, I was like, oh yeah, they're gonna have Tarte blushes in there, because normally they do. And then they fucking didn't. But, um, it's okay. I got some uh, other shit. Well, I bought two of them. Um, and then I have one other thing I want to buy. I, I went ahead and bought the uh, what is it? Too Faced Sketch Marker. You know, it's like a million colors. All I did was buy the white one. <laughs> because I'm gonna see if it's any good. A lot of drugstore priced ones suck asshole. So we're gonna try that one. I know that I like the black one in that line though, but I don't know. And then all the other colors I just thought were like, really, they were pretty, but then I can get them in the Vivid Brights line from NYX. So like, why buy them? I'm only gonna highlight my nose today. Just cause when my eyes are dramatic, I, I feel like that's too much on the side of my face. I don't know, I'm weird. But we're using the Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid Illuminating Highlighter in the shade 100 Light. The longest name in the fucking world. And then I'm gonna put my Wet n Wild Blossom Glow on top of it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and then I also ordered the Ofra, what, what the fuck is that called? Beverly Hills Highlighter, is that what it is? I don't know, I remember seeing people use that so much like a while back and I was like, bruh, it's so pretty, it's like blinding and um it's like normally 30 dollars or something and i was like hell no that's never gonna happen and then when it came to ulta i was like well maybe i should buy it then and i was like no it's still too much and then it went on sale half off and i was like yep gotta buy it so i bought it and then the last thing i want to get is a tartist what is it it's like that mascara that the paint mascara i don't know alicia like loves that mascara and talks about it constantly so that means i should probably try it Okay, for the bottom of my eyes, let's just make this real simple. I'm gonna use the shades Androgyny and 
dominatrix. I literally love this palette. I feel like all the colors blend out so beautifully. God damn it, I'm gonna have to buy my own. <laughs> and then dominatrix, I'm gonna just like pack right up under here. For the waterline, I'm gonna use um, ColourPop's Mr. Bing. It's like a really warm brown. I'm gonna put it on with a different pencil oil. And then Essence Slash Princess Mascara. Okay, I'm back and I'm gonna use NYX Liquid Lingerie in the shade Cabaret Show. I think that, that's what it's called. It's like a, like a reddish color, but not like real red. Okay, so this is the finished look and um, I really love it. It turned out so beautifully and I just, I love all these colors. Let me just zoom in and into my face for you. Um, yeah, this is what has happened on my eyes and yeah, I don't know. I try to make my face match my neck, but it's like being really retarded. So, so yeah, I think that's all for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll be back soon with more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.